here in the i button and in the description box below you will get the complete playlist of multiple integrals welcome to video number 16 and in this video we are going to solve second problem on the topic which is area enclosed by plane curves in the previous video we have solved a question on this topic where we had one parabola and a line okay in this particular video we are going to have parabolas that means both the equations belong to parabola so the question says find the area enclosed by parabolas whose equation is given by y square equals to 4ax and x square equals to 4ay both the equations are of parabola so here we have that is y square equals to 4ax and x square equals to 4ay this is a parabola this is again a parabola but since here the power of y is even so we can say that this parabola is symmetric about x axis why so because the power of y is even since the power of y is even so the parabola is symmetric about x axis similarly here the power of x is even so we can say the parabola that is x square equals to 4ay is symmetric about y axis so this parabola is symmetric about y axis okay so now we can draw both the parabolas on x y axis so this is your x y axis this is x axis and suppose this is y axis okay now this is a parabola which is symmetric about y axis similarly you can draw another parabola which is symmetric about x axis since this parabola is symmetric about y axis so we can say this is the equation of for this parabola is x is square equals to 4a y since the power of x is even so this parabola is par uh, symmetric about x axis sorry y axis for this parabola whose equation is y square equals to 4 a x here you can see the power of y is even so this parabola is symmetric about x axis okay now here we can see the intersection points are this and this this is 0 comma 0 okay no doubt about this but we have to find the coordinates of this point okay that is x x x coordinate and y coordinate for that we will equate both these equations so on on equating both what i am doing is from here okay from here we can get the value of y that is x square upon 4y and put this value of y here you will get x square upon 4a whole square okay what is the value of y from this that is x square upon 4a so put this value of y in this that is y square equals to 4a x okay clear now this is going to be x to the power 4 upon 4a whole square that is 16 a square here it is 4 a x now here you can see x cube now we can take this to the right hand side this will become x cube equals to 16 into 4 that is 64 a square into a that is a cube then you will get x equals to 4 a okay from here if you if you take the cubic root of both the sides will get x equals to 4a now since we know that is y square equals to 4a x in place of x if you put 4a so y square equals to 4a into 4a that is 4a whole square then y value is 4a so this implies y equals to 4a since y square equals to 4a x okay fine so when x equals to 4a y equals to 4a so we can say this is 4a comma 4a fine 
this coordinate is 4a comma 4a now since we have both the coordinates of this point we can say that is intersection points that is 4a comma 4a okay now we will find the required area which is asked in this problem therefore required area that is a equals to the formula is double integral dx dy now if you draw if this is dx okay if you want to solve by this way you have to draw a horizontal strip because first we have dx here but i am taking vertical strip okay you can change the strip also if you i am taking vertical strip if you wished to take horizontal strip you can go ahead so if this is if the strip is vertical then i need to change the order of integration so this is going to be double integral dy dx what is the function one the function is one okay now moving ahead here if we have written dy then this is the limit of y and this is the limit of x first we will see what is the limit of x taking this vertical strip if you go from this to this here x equal to 0 here x equals to 4a so x limit goes from 0 to 4a now coming to second part that is limit of y so lower limit that is this here you can see y equals to x square upon 4a okay what is y that is x square upon 4a so here we can write that is x square upon 4a upper limit that is upper part of this strip is on this curve that is y square equals to 4ax so y equals to 4, root over 4ax that means 2 into root ax so we can write that is 2 into root ax okay now we can draw this bracket because we are solving this part first so integration of 1 with respect to y will become 1 so this is integration 0 to 4a here we have y limit goes from x square upon 4a to 2 root a x don't forget to write this dx here now solving this integration 0 to 4a upper limit that is 2 root a x minus lower limit that is x square upon 4 a then dx okay now we can uh, integrate both the terms with respect to x so here 2 will be as it is root a will become root a can be written as a to the power 1 upon 2 here we have x to the power 1 upon 2 so integration of x to the power 1 upon 2 with respect to x will become x power 3 upon 2 upon 3 upon 2 okay this part is solved now coming to second part that is x square will become x cube upon 3 so 3 into 4 will become 12 a limit goes from 0 to 4 a now solving this part again 2 into 2 that is 4 upon 3 this is a to the power 1 upon 2 in place of this x we will put upper limit that is 4a lower limit is 0 so we will not take the we will not consider the lower limit considering this upper limit this will become 4a power 3 upon 2 now coming to the second term that is 4a whole cube upon 12a okay solving this again 4 upon 3 a to the power 1 upon 2 4 cube that is 64 4 cube is 64 then 1 upon 2 means power 1 upon 2 means root so root of 64 is 8 so here we can write 8 then we have a to the power 3 upon 2 a to the power 3 upon 2 now coming to this that is this can be written as 64 a cube upon 12 a okay now 8 into 4 that is 32 upon 3 a to the power half into a to the power 3 upon 2 half means 0 0.5 3 upon 2 means 1.5 so 0 0.5 plus 1.5 will become 2 so this can be written as a to the power 2 minus on dividing this with 64 this is 
16 and this is 3. So, this is 16 upon 3 a cube upon a that is a square. Now, here again you can see the base is common that is 3 and here we have a square. So, we can write this as 32 minus 16 that is 16 upon 3 a square. Okay. And since we are finding area, so we can write that is square units and this is my final answer. Okay. I hope that you have learned a lot from this video. Thank you. Thank you so much.